welcome back. Going to take a look at, uh, at another MRE, US MRE. Uh, this was uh, one we discussed in mail time. This is actually uh, menu number 14. Creamy spinach fettuccine, egg noodles, spinach and mushrooms, and a cream sauce. Um, this was one of two menus that changed in 2016. Um, I already had the yellow macaroni in uh, tomato sauce. So now we're going to try this one. Uh, so again, this is 2016. We've got a date code of 6011. So, uh, wow. Yeah, basically in January, this one was packaged. Uh, essentially here in February, you know, just over a year old. Uh, packaged by Ameriquil, so we'll know we'll have that inside bag. Go ahead and get her popped open here. You can see the crimping wasn't too good. <laughs> Maybe they reached the end of the line of bags or something. All right. There we go. We got the peelable seal going. And then we'll breach our inner bag. I like the inner bag. I know. Some people might not, you know, cause them more trash or whatever, but I find the inner bag to be kind of cool. Just a little more protection. So here is our creamy spinach fettuccine. We've got our somewhat beaten up sleeve. Okay. Yeah. And pretzel nuggets. Huh. Wonder what a pretzel nugget is. Maybe like those Snyder's things. They kind of feel like combos, but I could be wrong. No, no, no. Okay, so we got honey mustard and onion flavored. Interesting. That should be good. A lot better than just the standard pretzel sticks. We'll open up this here and well no, we'll just go ahead and open her up here now. Usually get so used to open these up later. We'll just do it at the start. So the accessory pack, we have the cinnamon gum. Got some matches. Got a moist towelette here. The back, I don't know if you can tell that's slightly discolored. I don't know what that's about, but looks like the sugar might have had a little bit of dampness to it, maybe. And this bag, if you didn't, I didn't really comment on it, but if you saw it, it was fairly tightly packed, so. This was right up against the moist towelette, so I'm wondering if some of that moisture from the towelette seeped into the sugar. Salt. Toilet paper. Instant coffee. And creamer. Non-dairy creamer. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we're kicking. Apple cinnamon. First strike bar. Love these. These are always pretty darn good. Crackers that have been a little bit impacted but that's okay you know I haven't seen a pack of veggie crackers recently so these are the plain ones ah peanut butter okay I always hope for jalapeno cheese spread but uh, good old peanut butter good standby always nice to see then we have oh nice vanilla dairy shake powder a lot of powder in that package type 2 Spoon, as always, very nice quality spoon, our flameless ration heater, and this one is new, so I'm hoping we get a good lift off, and heck yeah, look at that, get a little pepper sauce, very nice, and good old hot beverage bag, which I very rarely ever actually use, I tend to use it more to, uh, to store things in anymore as, uh, as opposed to using them in actual videos or so on and so forth. Okay. The bag just wants to give me a little bit of issue here. We'll fix that right now. <laughs> Tear notches just didn't feel like they wanted to work. And just trying to get this darn thing. It's like when you're at the grocery and you're trying to separate plastic bags. All right. So we'll get our pasta going and our heater. 
And uh, you know, if it's a bit older heater, I like to start the heater first. But uh, seeing as we're dealing with a newer heater, I'm just gonna, you know, kind of do it sort of normal. Just get everything in the bag first, and then we'll get our water going. And we're just shooting to be in between the fill lines there. I am not a master of this particular procedure. Sometimes I overfill, but you know, yeah. just a little tad bit more. There we go. Get everything down in there. Get the water and the heating element. We just want to set this vertical for just a little bit, just to try and get that water all soaked into the heating element. It's starting. It's starting. I can hear it. I can hear it working. So what we'll do is we'll get our sleeve ready here and we'll pop it on in and set it up against a rock or something and let it uh, let it work its magic. Ugh, these sleeves. I miss the boxes. <laughs> I really do. Okay, so there we go with our entree. I'm going to go ahead and set this up, and we'll wait for it to uh, start to heat up, and then I will be right back. See you in just a few. All right, everybody, we're back. Got everything head up, so let's uh, get a couple things out of their packages, and, and we'll uh, start looking at stuff. It was really interesting, these pretzel nuggets, these honey mustard onion flavored pretzel nuggets, so let's get those out first. Ooh. Okay, sure, sure, sure. I get, I get what that is. Nice. I don't really smell much honey mustard or onion in there, but hey, I bet it's in there. <laughs> let's try to get our crackers. Little hiss. Hoping these aren't crumbly. They were a little bent. Ah, look at that. Pretty good. Just got a little break at the line there, so that's not bad. Not bad at all. And we'll get a little peanut butter. Obviously, we want to make sure this is needed, but this actually still felt pretty good. Again, I'm normally dealing with rations that are already a couple years old and have had a lot more time to set than this one so having a nice fresh ration is is actually refreshing there we go yeah peanut butter's very nice very nice Let's get our first strike bar out of here oh yeah Whew. gives you a nice scent right out of the bag very good, very good. And uh, let's while we're while we're at it here, let's make our vanilla dairy shake up. Now again, this does have a fill line here, and as much as I love to go by the instructions, I've noticed that a lot of these powders just tend to have a ton of powder in them anymore and I really don't want pudding <laughs> sorry I just don't really want pudding so you just want to shake this up real good to get all that powder out and you can stretch this you can stretch this powder past that I've got it slightly above that fill line this one didn't have as much of big a charge of powder as some of the other ones I've seen so I think we'll be good but like I said I just okay I just like to uh, stretch it a little bit longer probably should have gotten my smaller cup out because this looks kind of ridiculous <laughs> but it's uh still got a little thick to it that should be good 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 kind of Interesting that we're not getting a uh, drink powder out of this one, though. So it would just be the coffee 
and the uh, Dairy Shake. Alright, so the heater didn't really kick off as much as I thought it would, but it, it definitely worked. We got, we still got a lot of good heat uh, coming off of that heater. So it definitely did its job and our package is nice and warm. So I think we'll have a, have a good warm meal today. Let's see if I can... There we go. Come on, Tear Notch. Come on. <laughs> Hands were a little slick there. All right. Okay. Smells good. Definitely get a good uh, kick of garlic coming off that. This would be something that would probably be real good with chicken in it. If, uh, if we're being honest. I think, uh, I think probably a lot of people's gripes would have been alleviated if we had some sort of chicken, some sort of protein in here. But uh, good portion. Definitely a lot of spinach in there. Just a couple of mushrooms. I'm only spotting a few of those and a good amount of noodles. So... All right, let's go around the horn. Let's try these. I'm really interested in these. Yeah, those are good. Not a big honey mustard or onion flavor, but very pleasant. I could uh, I could easily eat a whole bag of those in one sitting. <laughs> let's try a piece of a uh, fresh cracker here, real quick. Yep, very good. Very good. Tastes like a cracker. You know, these are largely unsalted. So all they, although they look like a saltine, they're definitely not. Get a little bit of our peanut butter. Mm. Peanut butter is nice and creamy. It's not super... Uh, Sweet, which I personally like. Over, overly sweet peanut butter is just not really my jam. But definitely makes your mouth dry. <laughs> so let's try a little bit of our vanilla shake here. It's good. Good vanilla taste to it sweet. I can still water that down and be very happy. Try a little nip of our bar here. The old apple cinnamon. And uh, you know these have like a crisp rice in them. They're sticky. Mm. Yeah good cinnamon flavor. Apple. I love first strike bars. They they just tend to nail flavors without being super sweet. Um, bit dry, but they're a very nice bar. So I've always liked those, any flavor we've ever had. Let's get a little bit of our pasta going here. Just trying to find a mushroom. <laughs> Hopefully there's one in there. A lot of spinach. Hmm. Um. Not a ton of taste, honestly. Yeah, not a ton of taste. It just. You definitely get the spinach, but spinach is a finicky thing. I used to cook for a living, and spinach is not something I would typically advise you put in one of these meals because of how long it has to hold. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this, which is really, really odd for me. I generally never add salt to MREs because they already have so much sodium in, a, in them already. And I'm also going to add this pepper sauce because it, it, it needs something. It definitely needs something. Uh, I also wouldn't mind some pepper. You know, just some black pepper would be would be awesome right now. Let's uh I don't know, let's see if this did anything. 
but yeah, it, it's odd for me to want to add salt to a ration. Normally it doesn't need it. And normally I wouldn't put it in there anyway because it just it's so sodium enriched anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. You know that that pepper sauce gives it a little bit of a little bit more flavor, I guess. But it's just it's it's pretty bland. And the spinach almost gives it a bit of a bitter taste, I guess. Again, I think that's just sitting there. And there's really not very many mushrooms either. As far as the cream sauce goes, it's kind of like... I don't know, it's forgettable. It's not really like an Alfredo. Like, I was hoping it'd be more cheesy like an Alfredo. But it just kind of reminds me of like a cream of mushroom or something. <laughs> um... The entree, a little forgettable. The rest of the components are great. I have no problem with the rest of the meal. But I don't see this menu surviving for very long. At least with the elbow macaroni with the tomato sauce, that's just really simple. You know, there's not really much to mess up with that meal. This one, this one, it needs chicken. It needs protein for this. I'm not, I mean, I guess this is technically like a vegetarian meal, even though it doesn't really say that on the bag. Yeah, it doesn't single itself out as a vegetarian, but I guess that's what it would be considered. But it is kind of disappointing. It's not horrible, like, I'm going to eat this, but I just, I wouldn't throw it away. And, you know, in a survival situation or whatever, I'd be just happy to have food, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just bland, and it needs protein. Pure and simple, it just needs some protein to really tie it together and, and bring it home. But regardless of that, guys, appreciate you stopping by. Again, menu number 14. This is from 2016. Creamy spinach fettuccine. Um, never discourage you from trying this stuff. All these things are interesting to me. I love doing ration reviews. You know, I love getting in here with you and just digging into these packages and, and seeing what the heck's going on. So, appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you to all the subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. Y'all have a great rest of your day. See ya!